Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to another release day unboxing for today, and this time, the third time, I am unboxing a video game, and this is for Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, which, whew, I haven't seen a game this polarizing in reviews in a very long time. It has like a 60, I think on Xbox right now it has a 69, which isn't too, too terrible, but uh, I think on PS3 it has like a 60 or maybe a 50 something, uh, and kind of like Thief, a lot of those reviews are like either a 9 or an 8 or even a 7.5 or a 7, even a 6.5, you know, 6.5 is okay, whatever. If my game got a 6.5, I wouldn't be like, ah, screw you, I'll be like, ah, alright, well, I'll do better next time. But uh, some of the reviews are also like 3s and 4s and even 5s, like that's just like, oh wow, that's weird considering that this game is a sequel to a game that got really damn good reviews, <laughs> people loved the first game, so I was really confused on what happened with this game what I mean it really confused me I was like what what's going on with this game and I never beat the first game but I know pretty much everything about it because it's been spoiled so many times because it has one of those endings that you know is easily spoiled and also if you even know a little bit about the first game this kind of spoils it right there just a picture of him right there so kind of spoils it so anyway here's the front it's actually a pretty good box art right there he's just like oh, I'm so angry people in the background uh, I guess that's people, I can't really tell. Looks like vampires. Looks like demons. I don't know. Uh, he's just like, oh, I'm fucking pissed! My game's not getting good reviews! So, there you go. Uh, here's the side. This is Castlevania. That's it. Uh, and the back, the back it says, blood is family, blood is power, blood is everything. And then, some screenshots. Doesn't even tell you how to play the game. Now, what's really interesting about this game, I don't know why I showed the side again. What's interesting about this game is that the first one was very linear, but it was still very long. I heard it was like a like a 20-hour game. That's why it was separated on two discs for the Xbox One, I mean Xbox 360. But this game, it sounds like it's only one disc, which is weird considering I heard that this is a longer game and it's open world. Kinda. Kinda like how Dark so I mean Darksiders 2 was open world. I heard this game is the same. So. I don't know. Does that mean the graphics are worse in this game? I don't know. Which is weird considering the first game had amazing graphics. So, at least from what I remember, it had really good graphics. So, alright. First thing is the Konami Gear Up 10% off select merchandise with order of $50 or more. Oh, and then of course there's a Konami code on the back. Not that Konami code. It's for their thing, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and here's a warranty. So that means on the back, they put the instructions on how to play the game with the controller, which is actually way better than a warranty. So there you go. You get controls. I actually like that way better. <laughs> I mean, I still would like it to have maybe uh, some cool-ass background art, like some games do. Uh, but it doesn't, but still. So, oh wait, let me show the disc a little bit more. Uh, the disc is just, just white with some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go that's the unboxing of castlevania lords of shadow 2 talked more about the game than actually unboxed it so for people that are coming here to watch an unboxing i'm sorry about that but um there you go that's how that's how i do things that's how i do unboxings uh, bro you know so there you go uh, bye <laughs>